And if you're into sculpting, or probably you like to create that clear looking touch in your scene when rendering, then you might want to consider taking a look at the Potter's Touch from the folks at B Production, as they've just recently announced this beautiful shading tool, which is currently doing a 25% launch offer for those who like to get this right now. This comes with 26 ready to use textures, and you can scale this from 2K, 4K, all the way to 8K. All textures are ready to be used, as all you need to do to get things going is drag, drop into your viewport, and start playing with it. With tons of variations to play with to get that clay looking effect in your scene when you're creating. And of course, for those who like to stylize and also tweak this to their hat content, you do have exceptional options to play with the shaders and start doing all of this however you want. And with that said, let's dive directly into Blender and take a look at how this actually works. So with we'll Blender simply open right here, all you need to do once you download this is go over to edit, go over to preference, go over to where you have your file pad and you need to add this as an asset pack. And once you do that, drag out the new panel and then we can click, go over to where we have the asset browser and from the asset browser, we would go over to Potter's Touch and we do have the 8K version, which is pretty cool. And for those who like to explore with this is technically easy as all you need to do to get things going is to click, drag and drop. And that's it. Once you click drag and drop, you can switch over to your cycles renders, your EV render, and preview these and see all of the cool things that it brings to the table. So we're simply going to zoom in to see what we have here. And you can tell that this textures look super cool. So like, look at how much quality we have here. And it, of course, if you like to customize this, you do have options to do that. So in this case, we can actually crank this up. If you like to make some color adjustment to this, it's totally up to you. You probably might want to make some sort of um clay colored clay stuff you can do that if you want to stick with the original colors of course you can also proceed to do all of that stuff you can select any of these other ones and let's take a look at that and you can see really high quality stuff that we have going on here so right here we do have a lovely character suzanne the monkey and what we're going to do is take a look at some of these parameters and see how they work and from this i'm just simply going to scan through and find something that I think might be cool. I'm just gonna drag and drop that one in there and let's see how this fits into Suzanne. Okay, this is looking pretty. For you to start manipulating the textures that comes with this, what you need to do is have this object selected, go over to where you have the material. Let's actually turn off the overlay, go over to where you have the material. And then like we mentioned earlier, you can start making those modifications from here. You can choose to enable UVs if you want, and you can also choose to turn this off. And to see this even more, if you don't want to do this right here, you can go over to your new panel or to any panel that you have open and switch that to the shader editor. Now from the shader editor, you would notice that we have a few things. Probably you like to control how the roughness of this is. You probably don't want this to be too shiny, maybe not too muddy. You can crank that up and you can have that. We can make this slightly more of a dry clay. It could be less dry. It, it could be very wet as well. And you know, you have these options to play with. There's also this very beautiful thing that has to do with the offset. So with offset, you can use this to push things around. So the texture that drives this underneath, you can use this to push this around, probably towards the X axis, towards the Y axis, depending on what you want to do. And again, we also have the displacement power, which cranks up how much displacement you want to get. So if you really want to get that Potter's thing going on, you can crank this up as much as you want. And at the same time, you can also play with the mid-level depending on how much mid-level you want to add to this and also balance things out. There is also this very cool stuff that has to do with frame stepping, which I believe deals with animation. So for what is what, if you would like to explore working with mods and probably you're into creating some very cool stuff like this and you're looking for something that is high quality then you might want to consider taking a look at the all new beautiful Potter's Touch. This is currently available on Blender Market from the folks at B Production and it is looking super cool. And right now, if you like to get these, this is currently doing a 25% offer. So just in case you like to pick it up, you can get 25% off links to this as well. It's going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. More so for those who are also thinking about getting more stuff from them, you might also want to take a look at Cloudscape. So Cloudscape, of course, is also doing a 5% discount and you can actually get the pet day gifts from the folks at Blender Market as this is the ninth day gift from the folks at Blender Market to celebrate their 10th year anniversary. And this is pretty cool. You'll be getting 13 VDBs from them and it's looking really awesome. So this is it for those who like to take a look at these and probably 
you'd like to get any of this cool stuff from the folks at B Production or from Blender Market, links to these is going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace. Bye.